everyone. Every once in a while, I want to, you know, I like talking about something that's a trending hot topic rather than just rambling on about things. Uh, and today's one of those days because TJ just made a video on Banana Gate, uh, where a video of TJ's that was supposed to be private got leaked. Um, it's the internet. Uh, TJ, I guess, you know, that should have expected that to happen and I guess you know he's not too surprised now that it did but the video involves TJ doing something sexual with a banana um, and if that piqued your interest you're gonna have to find out more for yourself um, but anyways I the reason why I'm making this video is not to make fun of TJ uh, but rather to really you know applaud him for his response video or or his you know his explanation video which was basically very blasé yup that's me yup I did that yup I enjoy that deal with it and that's a great attitude because the fact is you know however you know you might think that's not your kind of thing people have all kinds of weird fetishes weird things that turn them on as long as they're not like harmful to someone else they're voluntary they don't involve minors who cares I you know if someone gets turned on by licking women's shoes or you know whatever so um, so and if they wanna you know if if filming themselves while doing it or whatever you know if they if they enjoy that then great for them if you know if that's the, if that's the way their brain works in that instance then so be it I, the whole the whole kind of people being shocked and oh no how could you do this TJ it's so out of character or it's so you know people are just weirded out by something that they don't understand because we're not allowed to really talk about sex in any uh, level of detail we're allowed to kind of sell this glossy image of sex um, this kind of standard beautiful woman this standard relationship um, and everything in those bounds you can talk about it and you can be very upfront about it and stick it in people's face like all the advertising does but as soon as it comes down to actual people and their actual sexual interests or you know fe if you want to call it a fetish or just a orientation or you know whatever then that's not okay that's that's disturbing that's ooh hush hush don't talk about that and everyone knows that TJ is uh, is uh, quite a character so we expect you know TJ to be to be um, to be strange and confronting in various ways but then it comes to this and people are shocked and appalled um, and you know I have to resort to uh, to jibes about various things um, and really that's you know I mean obviously you shouldn't expect maturity on the internet but I think it's not just in this instance the internet where this is a problem it's really a very much a social society wide problem it's this it's on the one hand we have this highly sexualized society where things are sold via sex where people have all these sexual ideals to live up to that are presented by media but on the other hand the, you know the down and dirty kind of way that people actually want to have sex that people actually get turned on we're not allowed to discuss there are things that that are that are too strange too alien uh, and you know even in people that we celebrate for being a bit strange when it comes to sex that's just too much so really I mean this video is just kind of uh, first of all a uh, well done TJ video I really uh, appreciated his frankness in his video talking about this and it's generally a video just putting my position out there that we should really uh, start to be a little bit more open-minded about this stuff and it, wh what someone's sexual interests are you know the fact that that is something that interests you and then you do it um, whereas other people repress that urge you know I think that's that's generally a thing to be commended and it really says nothing much else about someone's character if they like doing this or that thing you know again going back to if, if you have a foot fetish that doesn't mean you're a bad person that has no bearing whatsoever on what kind of person you are um, if you have you know whatever 
it doesn't actually impact it's people look at you and they think they they get that picture in their heads and somehow that's uncouth and you should disassociate yourself from that person because somehow they're morally impinged now but that's all bs to me that's all kind of you know this uh, to use a bit of a lefty term this like petty bourgeois uh, morality that's really a leftover from or you know you could call it puritan puritanism or whatever uh people need to distinguish between different areas of people's lives what turns you on sexually um, as long as you make sure that you control those urges and don't harm other people with it says nothing about your character when it comes to your political views or uh, how you behave towards other people in other settings it doesn't say whether you're good or a bad person so that's it for this video um, well done TJ and you know I think Overall, this could be an excellent thing that TJ has unintentionally, it's true, but has done for the YouTube community by, um, by bringing up this issue and giving people an opportunity to really reflect um, on, on what people might do in their private lives and how it should or should not affect uh, the way that we view them. Uh, Church of SDFU, I'll see you guys all later.